Welcome to This Prepared Life. I'm Allison, and today I'm going to show you what I got on our seasonal trip to what we call Big Town, which is the nearest town to us with larger shopping options. So we went to Costco, to Cash and Carry or a Chef Store, and also Winco, and I'm going to show you what I got. So welcome to our North Idaho homestead. I am so glad you're here. And we shop seasonally because it is quite a trek to get down to our larger shopping stores. So when we go, we are doing a large bulk purchase to stock our kitchen pantry as well as our prepper pantry and my short-term layer, which we call our grocery store. grocery store. So this is what we got today. Let's go ahead and start over here. So the first thing that we got were two boxes, cases of coffee. And we just date these and rotate them through in our pantry first in, first out. So this is a considerable amount of coffee. This is not just one season's worth, but I was restocking this in my short-term layer. I also got a package of tortillas. I do prefer to make our own tortillas, but I also keep them in the freezer so that if I don't have time, we do have some. And then I got some sandwich bread. We have teenagers who take lunches to school. So I did get some juice boxes and some strawberry jam because we are out of jam in the canning pantry. And I am gonna make more, but I needed some for now. This item, this is smoked salmon. And this is a seasonal item at Costco. They usually only have it in the fall, I believe. It's like October, November, December. And I like to keep these on hand when we wanna have like a fancy snacky dinner, put out the smoked salmon, some bread, some cheese. So I usually buy several of these. So this is kind of a splurge item, but I did buy three of these and these actually store an amazingly long time. Let's see if I can find the expiration date, 2029. is the expiration date on these. So um, great addition for a protein source in your prepper pantry. I also got some condiments. I got some more ketchup, some barbecue sauce, some chocolate syrup, lemon juice, and then this Japanese barbecue sauce, which my husband and kids think is amazing. So Joe grabbed another one of these. So some other items that we got, I got some mac and cheese for the teenagers, some pistachios for Joe, and then some more pecans to restock my short-term layer. You can see back here, I have some spices to replace what we've used. That's diced onion, granulated garlic, and then some cinnamon. I also got some more coffee filters. We have tomato sauce and some clothing items here. I love looking at the winter stuff that they have at Costco. So we got some lounge pants, some snow pants, and then a couple more. Um, these are snow tracks. They go over your boots in the winter. These are great for if you live in a snowy climate and it's icy and you need to be able to walk safely. In addition, I did get some more batteries and then I got some more scissors. I usually end up having to buy a new thing of scissors about once a year because they disappear. And then I got some more tape in preparation for holiday gift wrapping. I also got some socks and a new pair of slippers because it's winter and cozy slippers are nice. All right, moving on to this side of the table, I did get some apple cider in preparation for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I like to buy the holiday items that I need well ahead of time, so it's just off my list and ready to go. Got some more snack foods for kids' lunches. We've got fruit snacks, Cheez-Its, some bars, chips, and um, gummy bears. Did some restocking of household items, sandwich bags, garbage bags, freezer gallon bags, which we go through a lot of, some paper plates, and then I got some vinegar and some Dave's bread to keep in the freezer when we need bread and I haven't made any. There's also some tomato sauce over here. I do can my own tomato sauce, either with tomatoes from the garden 
or tomatoes from the farmer's market or buying in bulk in the season. But I do also keep commercially canned tomato sauce in my prepper pantry. So I got another case to replace what we've used. Moving over here to this pile of items, I did get some hygiene items. We've got some deodorant, face wash, toothpaste, dishwashing detergent, and laundry soap. We live in a 1927 farmhouse, so the bedrooms are a little cold. So I did get a heater for one of my kids because their heater no longer works. We got toilet paper, paper towels, and two bags of sugar to replace some of the sugar in buckets in my short-term layer. Joe grabbed new windshield wipers for the car and some light bulbs. We also got some energy drinks, another case of water, and cat litter. In addition to dry goods and canned goods, we did get uh, some dairy, some produce, vegetables, um, some fruit, and things like that. And we have to bring coolers with us when we do that because it's about an hour, hour and 15 minute drive, depending on who's driving. And so this is what we got that was a freezer or a refrigerator item. So the majority of our purchases were at Costco. This is what we got at Winco and at Cash and Carry, which wasn't a lot, but it was just stocking up on some items that we don't use frequently, but we do use occasionally. So I got some more straws. I like having straws on hand. We like to make our own blended coffees or also if someone's sick, it's nice to have a straw. I got some more powdered sugar and brown sugar for holiday baking and just to restock my short term layer. I also got some spinach dip mix and we usually make spinach dip every holiday season. So I like to get a couple packets of that ahead of time. Um, I got some cereals, some soups and some refried beans. This is the only brand that kid three will eat. So I try and get quite a few of them. We got some crackers, some rice a -roni, some chili spice kits, and then some baking mixes. I also got kosher salt, some stuffing, and then some pretzels. I did get another bag of these as well for kids' lunches. And then I got two more bags of these storage bags. These storage bags are the bags I prefer to put my home-baked bread in, and I keep these on hand in my prepper pantry. At Cash and Carry, we did get a lot of dairy, which I already showed you. We also got a case of sweet potatoes and then a case of coffee syrups. So this is what we got in our winter stock up of our prepper pantry and our short term layer from our North Idaho homestead. Check out my playlist grocery hauls if you want to see more of how we shop.